Right, Mr. Truman, here we are then. Uh, what's with me to read? 12 months service on the uh, triple back. Yeah, you've, so. you've uh, procrastinated a little bit there, haven't you? And it's now yeah. December and it's like yes, four that's degrees right, yeah. outside. Yeah. Uh, it was waiting on the um, recall on the forks. I'm surprised that's you came out, if I'm honest, because there was a 1% yeah. chance of rain. Yeah, you? well, that's right. It's, it's a bit risky. It was a bit cold down the motorway as well, wasn't it? Right, so what are we here today for? Um, we did mention about the. Uh, that BMW toolkit tool that we take with us on the Yeah, well it's not the BMW trips. one is it, it's the one we put together ourselves over but, yeah, numerous years so, yes, of not yes, using yes, a toolkit. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, so have you ever used a toolkit? No. No, but, but it's there if you need I it. I think what, what we're looking at, we're looking at about seven or eight years we've been travelling and I think I think we took the toolkit out once probably to knock some dent out when you Yeah, but, dented. Actually, but then I had to borrow a hammer off Rich to do that because yes. I didn't have a hammer <laughs> So we toolkit. never had a... Yeah. But I think there is a few things we really take into account with a toolkit, really. I think we all think that we need a toolkit to take with us on, a, on an adventure. But I suppose, really, it sounds terrible to say, but I'm very lucky that we've got a brand new bike and we have the support from BMW. And they're only a phone call away, especially in Europe as well. Um, what what but, about in your avid off-road adventuring now when you're in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> well, do we really, are we that far away? It's like having a 30... You did, go in, you, you did pull off a lay-by once. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like having a 30-litre tank in it, you know, because we're not going to meet a, a petrol station in the next 10 mile, like, you know what I mean? So do we need a toolkit to take with us? And I think, yes, I think it's nice to have a, a limited toolkit. I think uh, we don't need everything to take with us and of course you have got your own ability as well if something goes wrong on the bike they are, they are so sophisticated now that are we going to really mend them on the side of the road i think if a screw comes off you know if you've got a bit of a big gaffer tape with you and a, a phillips or straight head screwdriver that's fair enough um, well, should we have a look at what we do take? Yes, so sure. People can, uh, yeah. it, now, half the fun of these bikes is, is collecting the crap you don't really need, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, sure. We've actually got a bit of a mix here of two toolkits, because my toolkit's here, because Dave very cleverly uh, brought his and then left it in the bike on his service. And Dave's bought his um, puncture repair kit. Dave, have you got anything else in there other than your puncture repair kit? Uh, some one or two fuses in there that, uh, so that you don't got... seem to fit this bike, but I've put, left them in from. Yeah, I can say that's bike. that's from a Triumph those fuses, yes, that's but that's right. useful if anybody from a Triumph happens yeah. to break down yeah, right in front of you. Yeah. Um, so what's your your, tool, your punch repair kit? You bought that as an all-wheel-in-one, didn't you? And I imagine you bought that one from Toratech because that's the most expensive one you could find. Yeah. But obviously, my advice on this, I've had this for some years, and I, I do check the You can the tell, glue. it looks very well yeah. used, Dave. <laughs> I do check the pads and check the glue, because these go off very quickly, and you don't want to be out somewhere, and you've carried it for thousands of miles, and come to use it, and the bloody glue's no good or anything else. So obviously check it regular, and uh, just throw it away. Uh, that was, that, that was actually quite close to being useful advice though, Davis. Um, you're going to have to get <laughs> careful, you're going to start getting a reputation. I'll have to be careful. This is my toolkit Dave's got here, so this is in a little Krieger thing. I think, we've both, quid, gone, I think we've both gone for these Krie uh, this uh, Krieger type store bag, which is neat, it fits into my toolbox uh, on my bike that's tucked up to the next to the panniers, mm -hmm. you know, so that fits in quite well. Um, and it really limits you to how much you can say, because when this is full, it's full, that's it. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, obviously useful items that double as a multi-tool, obviously is the... You don't um, know what that is, do you, because it's my toolkit? Yeah. That's the Leatherman yes. crunched... Mole grips and things like that. Mole grips, yeah. that's what I was looking yes. for. Yeah, you spot the engineer. Yeah. So, uh, and obviously then you've got some nice... Uh, screwdriver bits and yeah, ratchet. Yeah, I, I bought those because they were uh, small and compact, yeah. they're actually from Halfords. Right. But they're pretty good quality, they're the health of the professional yeah. range, I think. And yeah. um, we've got some uh, torque bits. I think yeah. on BMW there's quite a few torque. There are, but I've only put ones on there that are actually fit in, fitted on yeah. the bike. So I've taken I've yes. taken quite a few out. I think there's yeah. another one another one there. But basically that's those right, two yeah. together. I, is, think, I think we've bought the, the torque bits, as you say, and the Allen keys. And then obviously you can just break it down yeah. to exactly what's on the and bike. And that's everything I can find. Um, um, separate. Yeah, yeah, bring you, the, just, you must, don't forget that one. That's yeah. actually one of the most important bits because yeah. otherwise you can't get behind the indicators, that kind of yes. stuff. Yes. You just won't get behind. You've got yourself a uh, 
and adjustable. Yeah, I've got, is, uh, I've got two of those because you quite often know after the back end. I notice end. you've got two sizes of uh, I think that extensions. Might That's a quarter and you've got three eighths. I think that might be in there by accident, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so that looks A little good. bit of chemical metal. That's just in case I go through the um, the cylinder head. Yeah. You never know because I haven't got engine guards on mine. You have. Yeah. And then obviously in this side you've oh, got, just, this uh, side you've got uh, more sockets and... Yeah, I just a little bits, you know, a pair of rubber gloves, got um, cable ties, uh, oh, it's a GoPro fitting. Yeah. That's the security screw for my GoPro. That's worthwhile, obviously gloves. Yeah. Because if you're getting your hands dirty... Yeah, I don't want to get my hands dirty. There's yeah. nothing worse than putting your oily hands back into your I new gloves. I take some of that stuff as well, that's pretty handy. It only lasts about six months, so that's yeah. Sugar, it's like... Yeah. Um, you, it's like yeah. a super, it's like Plutac, but you put it on and it goes um, turns yeah. into rubber in about half an hour. Got your. Uh, I hope you're going to tidy all this up when you're done. Okay. And uh, what's the uh, okay? Then what's the solder for then? What's for soldering, Dave? Have you got a solder kit with you? You don't. Uh, you don't need to. You've got that little mini pocket blow torch, haven't you? Oh right, okay, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Well, you that's can use a lighter a and a paper clip. You know, and, yeah. you know, we're out in the wilds and nowhere, aren't we? And then you've got um, a nice little socket. Yeah, ah, that's what the little one's for. The little yes, one fits yeah. that. So you've got quarter drive on that. Um, yeah, that's really good. Oh, look at this, Dave. Yeah, he's co no, he's he's coming to give you some prices on. A, he's, he's coming to give you some prices on a new motorbike. Is this a, <laughs> yeah. So is this the point that I stop filming in case your wife watches? Yeah, it's just in case the wife sees right. this. So it's going to go mysteriously you know, blank it's be, now. Uh, top secret. <laughs> good luck.